Jackson County has made an agreement with Kansas City, Missouri to sell a piece of the land within the new county detention center site. The city will use the land to build a jail of its own. Today, the county began formal discussions to finalize that agreement, and business owners hope the jail can help to deter property crime. Talks about a new jail site and detention center have also brought up questions about what crimes they'll address. I'm Rachel Henderson and I talked with city leaders and a local business owner about what solution, if any, a new jail site could offer for the city's ongoing property crime problem. Betty Ray's ice cream shop is famous for its options. Owner Matt Chateau says those go beyond just ice cream. Whether it's property crime or whether it's other types of crime, we need proactive measures, not reactive measures. He's one of dozens of local business owners who experienced break-ins and theft in the past few months. We're at the peak of crime and now we have to wait for whether it's a new prosecutor, whether it's additional jail space. Now that the city and county have agreed on a new municipal jail site, leaders are looking at what it'll mean. I do think that it's going to be a helpful additional uh, form of deterrence but also an additional form of punishment. According to KCPD, Kansas City saw over 2,600 property crimes in October alone, many of those taking place after midnight. Mayor Quentin Lucas says he's taken suggestions for more overnight policing to the state-appointed Board of Police Commissioners. I think it needs to be made very clear that if you commit property crimes, that is a problem here in Kansas City. Some people try to say police won't show up. That's not true. Detention is a part of the strategy. It's not the only strategy. Councilmember Crispin Rea has spearheaded efforts for a city jail site. He too says he hears often how fed up people are about crime. Now, Kansas City is on this amazing trajectory. We have many entrepreneurs and small business owners doing incredible things and we are at a risk of losing it if we don't get our property crime situation under control. The jail won't open until 2026. Whatever it is that's reactive, we have to wait. Whether it's ankle bracelets or identifying prior offenses, there are options out there Matt wants to see for anyone in his position. So what do you do while you wait? You bolster the proactive side, right, to stop the crime. Rachel Henderson, KSHB 41 News.